Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another video today. So I get this question asked a lot and that's, hey Nick, how do you go ahead and record your screen for your videos? Now I have made a video on this topic in the past. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, today I will show you guys another method on how to record your screen. This method does use a separate device, but it not only does record your screen very well, you can go ahead and use it to live stream as well. And that's pretty awesome. With me saying that right there, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. And that's with the L Elgato. So I really want to say a huge thank you to Elgato for sending me out this product right here. Um, now there's two types of Elgatos you can get. They did send me out the HD60. This is the external game capture card. And there's the other one that's the HD60 Pro, which is an internal game capture card. This one you would use more for um, a laptop, I guess. And the other one's like for a desktop because you go ahead and insert it actually into your computer. But um, you guys probably heard of Elgato before. Um, a ton of people use them to go ahead and record videos, to do live streams. It's a really great product. Um, so yeah, I'm really thankful that Elgato sent me this product right here. Um, but yeah, if you guys checked out that video I did post before, I give you guys two methods on how to um, record your screen. First one was um, a $15 program called Reflector that you go ahead and download on your computer. It's really great. Um, I used it for probably like the first year of doing videos on YouTube. It's a really nice program. Like I said, it's only $15, but the only problem I did run into was when I went on vacation um, with hotel Wi-Fi, since you have to mirror it through Wi-Fi and everything, um, I couldn't get it connected to my computer and I found I ran into a huge problem when I went to Vegas. So I did not want that problem to happen to me again. So the second method I showed you guys was to buy a Mac and use QuickTime. Now that's what I've been using um, for the longest while now and it's been amazing. It's been really great um, with QuickTimes and everything, really reliable and stuff. But that being said, Macs are not cheap. My MacBook Pro cost me about 2,500. But of course, anything Apple is not cheap, but this could be another alternative that is a little cheaper. Um, and it's the Elgato and it goes for, I believe it's about 200 bucks. Um, which is pretty nice. Um, if you guys do want to go ahead and pick up one of these Elgatos, I have a link in the description that will send you to the Elgato website and you can go ahead and pick up one of these. But we're going to go ahead and open up this bad boy and see what comes in the box. And I'll show you guys how to set it up and everything as well. So let's go and jump right into that. All right. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. But I do want to point out as well, if you guys do want to start off like um, a YouTube gaming channel, not only on mobile devices, but what's so great about the Elgato, you can actually record um, your Xbox One or PS4 as well, and even Wii U, if, you, if that's your genre. Um, but let's do a quick 360 of the box. So here's the front, of course, we got the side, we gotta look up what the Elgato looks like. On the back, tells us a lot of stuff here. Of course, you can record in stunning 1080p uh, with 60 frames per second. That's really great. Um, it's compatible with Mac, Windows, uses HDMI, you can use this for Twitch, YouTube, and there is their Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and rip open up this bad boy. So we're just gonna take it from the side, I guess. We're just gonna cut it right, right there. All right, so there it is. We started it out off. Um, there it comes off the wrapping. How the box does open up, it comes out sideways. So pretty sick. There's the Elgato logo. Um, and that's basically it. But here it is. Let's go ahead and open it up and bang. Once we open it up, we are greeted with um, the Elgato HD60. You can go ahead and I guess download the software that Elgato uses. Now, of course, a lot of people do use OBS uh, with Elgato, but let's take out this guy and see how he looks and how he feels actually. So it's pretty small, really portable if you guys wanna, if you have a laptop and you wanna go ahead and record um, or even stream on the go. So I really do like that on the back Elgato. But yeah, this is your how this works, you go ahead and use HDMI cables. So this is your HDMI in, you got an audio jack and also the USB plug that will feed it power, of course. And now in the box, move this to the side, we'll get back to it. In the box, it does give you that uh, USB connector that you will plug into your computer and that plugs into the Elgato, of course. We'll open up that later. And also does come with an HDMI cable, of course. And oh, that's pretty sweet. We get an Elgato gaming sticker. That's pretty nice. Um, also, we've got instructions in here. And is this box empty? Yeah, that's about it. That comes in the box. So we'll put all this other stuff aside. I'll keep that sticker. That's a sweet sticker. Um, but let's open up these guys first. This is the cables they provide. 
This one, of course, a standard HDMI cable that you plug into the Elgato either here. So this one's in. So this one will connect to either your PS4 or whatever, I guess. And this one goes to like the TV. Um, so that's how that goes. Then also you plug this in and this is your power source. So just plug that in and that goes to your computer and records. Um, but how you guys will record your screen for your Apple devices as well, you will actually need another separate adapter. You guys pick this up at like Best Buy. It cost me about, I think it was $60. Um, to, bu to buy so let me go ahead and open this up as well all right so that is the box here is the actual adapter like i said anything apple is pretty expensive this will run you about 60 dollars um but why you need this is because you need to hook up your elgato to your actual apple device now since i am using an iphone 6s plus this adapter has the lightning connector but what is most important is this hdmi connector adapter port so what you do you take your iphone you plug it into the little lightning cable and then from there you take your hdmi cable and plug it into your elgato and after that you hook that into there and back into the elgato to the in plug into your uh, power source and then right to your computer and that's how it goes ahead and records the software records everything for you and it's pretty simple cables wise let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and i'll show you guys how it all works so i'll catch you guys there all right all right guys let's go ahead and set up the elgato so we can record or stream our device now um we will be using the basic program that elgato does provide for us you could use other programs such as open broadcaster software or obs um it is a really nice program but unfortunately if you are on a mac obs does not actually work and pick up elgato as a device but hopefully maybe in the future elgato and obs could like sit down and push out an update and get it to work on macs um, but if you are on a Windows or PC, it will be fine and dandy. You can use OBS as well. But like we said, we are just going to use the regular software that Elgato does provide. How you guys get to the download page right here. You go to the website that was in the box and that was Elgato.com forward slash gaming forward slash download. And that will bring you up to this website right here. And you go ahead and download the respectable software that your computer will need. So if you have a 64-bit Windows computer, you download this one, 32-bit right there. Um, and there are system requirements such as a PC, Windows 7 or later, 4 gigs of RAM. You guys can look at the specs right there as well. Then if we scroll down, you can go ahead and find the OS um, software download for Macs. And just like the other one, we do have a, a public beta 2.1 with stream commands or the 2.0.3 download version. And there are specs requirements as well. But I already downloaded the program, so let's go ahead and open it up. This is what the program does look like. You can see it says no signal right here. That's because I didn't plug in my phone into the Elgato just yet. But you can see the basic things. We've got capture. You can do the bit rate right here. Live commentary for your uh, live stream, of course. And then if you want to go ahead and put a title, the game, a description, put some tags as well. And of course, there's a record button. And you can actually edit your clips as well inside this program as well. So that's very nice. Um, let's go ahead and plug in my phone so we can see it all work. So the setup is exactly like I said in that earlier clip. You go ahead and plug your USB into the Elgato and then take the Elgato, take an HDMI wire, plug it into the uh, Elgato and take the other part of the HDMI wire um, into that adapter. And with that lightning connector, you finally plug it into um, your device. And let's go ahead and plug that in and wait for it to load onto the screen. And there it is guys, right there. There's my phone right projected right onto the screen and let's go ahead and run some of the gameplay so let's go ahead and do a run play it works very smoothly as you guys can see you guys can record and yeah it worked really great now when you guys download this you could change your settings to what you guys would want them to be of course this is a quick tutorial i'm not going to do all that stuff um but you guys see it runs very fluently right there um but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to say thank you to Elgato for sending me out one of their products. It is very great. If you guys would like to pick up one of these products, like I said, I do have a link in the description. Really want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys think this is the all right method to go ahead and record, but especially for live streaming, it is really great. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. Uh, we get Tevin Coleman, rookie card, and I think this is our autograph, and it's going to be Tim Brown. Oh man, this is our autograph relic. So this is not, this is a